Merkava and T-90 are both designed according to different national doctrines and operational needs. The Russian tank is meant for swift Blitzkrieg-style wars, focusing on enemy tanks as its primary target. In contrast, the Merkava is intended for defensive battles and provides support in counterinsurgency operations, particularly in urban and mountainous terrain. Though similar in performance to Western main battle tanks, the Merkava has many features not found in any other tank. Today we'll compare the Merkava to the T-90 to see which one reigns supreme in the ultimate test of power and performance. Without any further delay, let's jump right into it. Merkava is oriented to meet Israel's unique operational needs, including defensive warfare against foreign invasion and counterinsurgency operations in urban environments and mountainous terrain. The tank was first made in 1979 and is considered one of the best in armored warfare. Renowned for its protection and unusual design, this tank excels in crew survivability and precise targeting. Particularly, it features the integration of the Advanced Trophy Active Protection System. The tank's unique design places its engine at the front, offering both extra protection and additional space for passengers. Since the introduction of Mark IV in 2004, this tank has undergone significant upgrades, enhancing its power and efficiency. The Merkava boasts a top-notch air conditioning system and comes with an optional toilet module. The tank has a whopping weight of 65 tons. It is 29.7 feet in length, 12.2 feet in width, and 8.6 feet in height. As for the tank's costs, it amounts to $6 million per tank. The Merkava's ability to carry eight additional troops makes it unique and versatile. On the other hand, the T-90 traces its roots back to Soviet-era program aimed at developing a replacement for the old Soviet tanks. The T-90M is a heavily upgraded version of the T-90, first appeared in public in 2017. This tank distinguishes itself with the Advanced Kalina Fire Control System, enabling swift target identification, ballistics calculation, and quicker engagement. The tank also features a special rounded turret that enhances protection against incoming projectiles. The introduction of a new engine and transmission system further contributes to its strength and reliability in battles. Priced at $5.8 million per tank, the Russian tank is slightly cheaper than Merkava tank. Weighing 48 tons, the tank is lighter and more agile. It looks sleek on the battlefield thanks to its dimensions of 31.3 feet long, 12.4 feet wide, and 7.3 feet high. As of today, Approximately 5,000 units of various variants have been made, surpassing Merkava's 2270 units. The T-90 has a smaller crew of three, showing an efficient command structure designed for its specific layout. Performance The Merkava charges ahead with a General Dynamics 1,500 horsepower engine, giving it immense power and speed. On the other hand, the T-90 has a slightly less powerful engine at 1,130 horsepower, but it still offers impressive performance due to its lower weight. The tank zooms across the land at 40 miles per hour, showing off its incredible speed and agility in battles. The T-90 is a bit slower at 37 miles per hour, but is still quick, allowing it to move swiftly and position itself well in combat. In terms of how far they can go without refueling, the Merkava can travel up to 311 miles covering a large battlefield area. However, the T-90 goes even farther with an impressive range of 342 miles. Crew Survivability and Countermeasures the Merkava incorporates distinctive design features aimed at enhancing the survivability of its crew. For example, the engine is mounted in front of the crew compartment. The tank's sloped turret gives it a unique look. This sloped armor plate coupled with the engine are really effective against incoming projectiles. The tank is fortified with modular composite armor. The rear hull also has a small exit hatch allowing the crew to bail out from the vehicle. Chains dangling iron balls hang from the rear turret in order to prematurely detonate rocket-propelled grenades aimed at the vehicle's thinner rear armor. The Merkava 4M Windbreaker variant is outfitted with the world-renowned Trophy Protection System. This system offers defense against rockets, ATGMs, and heat rounds. 
It employs precise target acquisition, tracking, and countermeasures to neutralize threats. With 360-degree protection and high angle elevation coverage, it maintains user-defined safety zones for friendly troops. On the other side, the T-90 tank is equipped with an array of features and mechanisms, designed to keep crew alive even in the toughest of battles. The tank has lighter but stronger composite reactive armor designed to withstand even the most severe of blows. The tank's outer shell is also equipped with explosive reactive armor, which can sense an incoming threat and trigger an explosion to neutralize it. The Russian tank is equipped with the Shatora-1 jammer and the Arena-E active protection system, making it very difficult to attack. The tank is outfitted with an automatic fire suppression system, designed to extinguish any fires that may break out inside the tank. Sensors and Optics the Merkava features the Iron Vision helmet-mounted augmented reality system. It is equipped with a fighter jet-style helmet-mounted display for the tank commander, enabling it to independently acquire targets and strike them rapidly. Its electronic warfare abilities are on other level as it is aimed with a direct energy system capable of intercepting drones and cruise missiles. While the T-90 is locked and loaded with the latest automatic fire control system and infrared night optics. All these sensors unlock the sharp shooting capabilities of the gunner. The tank is outfitted with a day and night range finder for missile guidance and conventional rounds. The system is fitted with an armament stabilizer and sensors to gauge the wind's direction and speed for accuracy. Firepower in terms of weapons, the Merkava is armed with 120mm smoothbore gun capable of shooting targets up to 1.24 miles. This gun features an advanced thermal shroud to reduce barrel bending. The loader can choose ammunition types semi-automatically, with 48 rounds stored in protective containers and a revolving magazine holding 10 ready-to-fire rounds. The Merkava is equipped with remotely operated 7.62mm machine gun, helping protect the crew while fighting in urban environments. The tank is armed with a 60mm light mortar and can be fired from within the turret. This allows the tank to fire anti-personnel shells on targets out of line of sight, for example, behind a wall or on the other side of a hill. It also provides the crew with another way to fight the enemy without relying on the powerful shots from its main gun, which is crucial in counter-insurgency warfare. On the other hand, the T-90 is armed with 125mm smoothbore gun as its primary weapon. This gun can also launch guided missiles. The tank can engage a target with standard ammunition from a distance of 1.6 miles, while anti-tank guided missiles can destroy a target as far as 3.7 miles. For engaging infantry or light vehicles, the gunner has access to a 7.62mm machine gun mounted next to the main gun. The T-90 can unleash its fury on any airborne threat with the help of 12.7mm turret-mounted machine gun. Both tanks also have advanced missile systems. The Merkava 4 uses the LAHAT anti-tank guided missile system, which is excellent for hitting armored targets precisely. The T-90 uses the Invar-M ATGM system ensuring it can deliver accurate and lethal blows in battle. These tanks are not only equipped with powerful main guns, but also have secondary weapons and advanced missile systems. This makes them highly versatile and effective on the modern battlefield, ready to handle any threat that comes their way. The Merkava and T-90 are both really strong tanks, but they have different strengths. The T-90 has greater operational range and can go farther, while Merkava has better top speed and it has a unique design that lets it carry more people. Thanks to its advanced AI and sensor system, it has better sensors and computing power. When it comes to protecting the crew, both tanks are armed with countermeasures. However, Merkava is better as it is specifically designed for urban environments. In terms of firepower, the T-90 has a bigger gun that can shoot from a longer distance. Both tanks also have extra weapons and missiles for different types of attacks. Overall, both tanks are really good, and the choice between them would depend on mission requirements. They're both advanced and can handle tough situations on the battlefield.